Hey guys, Tony here from HRV Fitness. Today we're talking about weight loss mistakes. Okay guys, so we get a lot of people coming to my gym asking about weight loss and talking about weight loss. And some of the biggest problems I see is unrealistic goals. Okay, so thanks to The Biggest Loser. Thanks Biggest Loser. People come to the gym and they think that they're gonna drop, I don't even know, four, five, six kilos in a week or Unrealistic goals. We've got to set some, some realistic goals in the sense that your body realistically can only drop sort of about half a kilo to a kilo of fat per week, okay? So if you're dropping more than that, initially you might find you drop a lot of weight really quickly, but what that is, is a lot of the time it's just water weight, okay? So if you've got a high sodium diet, um, you'll find your body tends to hold a lot more water, okay? So realistically, we want to drop around about a kilo to half a kilo of body fat per week. That's sort of sustainable and maintainable, and you might find that's a lot more realistic than coming in thinking you're gonna drop three, four, five kilos a week. All right, the next thing I see too, guys, is people and their food, all right? So I talk to them, hey guys, how's your food going? A lot of the time, it's very meat-based. Okay, I'm eating clean, fresh cuts of meat, which is fine, but you've got to increase your veggies, all right? So the biggest thing I want to see, guys, is when you're trying to eat a little bit cleaner, okay? Especially, like, even if I'm on a keto diet, all right? I've, um, say, for example, my lunch is I come home and I'll do some eggs and bacon or whatever. I do about two or three eggs. I do about three or four bits of bacon, but then I'm always making sure that I've got a nice bowl of broccoli or some, some form of veggies with it as well, okay? Whether it's carrots or peas and corns or broccoli or cauliflower or whatever it is, uh, I make sure I have a nice bunch of veggies, at least a bowl of veggies to help wash down, wash down my eggs and bacon, all right? So that's gonna help keep me regular. The, the fiber is gonna help me go to the toilet. It's gonna help me poopy time. When I poopy time, I'm dropping weight, all right? So if you find that you're running the keto diet or you're running low calorie diets, okay, and you're not dropping any weight or you're not going to the toilet, might be you need to increase your veggies, okay, guys? So plenty of veggies every meal. I'm only doing the two meals a day at the moment, but like I said, I'm making sure I'm having plenty of veggies for lunch. If I'm not having veggies for dinner, I'm having a big ass salad for dinner as well, okay? So make sure you increase your veggies. Like I said, you'll get a lot better results with your weight loss. The next thing too, guys, is portion size. So with your meat cuts, uh, a good rule of thumb is palm size, okay? So if you're a bigger person, you have a bigger piece of meat, you're probably looking around about palm size. Women, same thing, you want a smaller piece of meat, okay? Look, normally between 150 to 200 grams of meat is a good cut of meat, all right? Much bigger than that, it's just too big, your body takes too long for you to digest it. Like I said, portion size is, is very important. You know, a lot of people do smaller plates, that's another idea as well, but I think if you keep your portions of your meat small, and then you can eat as much veggies as you want. So the bigger plates aren't too bad in the sense that small piece of meat, big chunk of salad, big, big bowl of veggies, or whatever you're gonna incorporate with your meal for the dinner that night. The whole idea is to keep your portion size as small of your protein, keep your veggies and your salads high, guys, and then that way you're gonna, like I said, you're gonna be a lot more regular, you're gonna to go to the toilet, you're gonna poop, you're gonna drop weight, and that's the goal. The next thing too, guys, is consistency. We've got to keep consistent with these meal plans. You know, it takes your body a while, you know, a good two or three, four weeks to, to adapt and to, to adjust to these meal plans. So you've got to give your body the time to A, relax, B, and then start burning body fat and start dropping weight. So make sure when you're doing these diets, that you give it some consistency and then stick to it 99% of the time initially, okay? Like, I've had conversations in the past with people going, oh, what, what, can't have fun? No, you can't have fun. You can't have fucking fun. You've had too much fun now, and this is why you're in the situation you're in now where you're carrying too much body fat, and you've got to come to the gym and drop some body fat, all right? So no fun. No fun until you drop some weight, all right? So yeah, stick to your diets, guys. Give it some time. You've got to put in a good two or three months of these 12-week challenges. All those sort of things are really, really good because it gives your body time to relax and adapt to these new new uh, diets and new meal plans, and then uh, you'll start seeing some results, and you'll start getting some gratification out of all this hard work you're putting in, all right? Okay, so one of the other things too, guys, is obviously there's people out there, you're in relationships, whether you're, in the, you're married, or you're, um, you've got a partner, or however it works. So one of the secrets, guys, is to get everyone on the same page. If you've got the whole household on the same page, you're both, you and your partner are both eating the same meals and, and trying with the same goal in mind, it makes it a hell of a lot easier, okay? I've seen relationships in the past where someone's trying to drop weight and the other person doesn't give a shit what they eat. It all just goes out the window, okay? So the problem is you get home from work and you're trying to eat healthy and the other one's like, oh, I just wanna have a pizza or I just wanna have Indian tonight or whatever it is. And then you fall into that habit of just eating shit food every night 
and then obviously you know your your diet goes out the window and you know your weight loss goes out the window okay so if you're starting a new meal plan get the missus on board or if you're starting a new meal plan get the husband on board all right so if you can both stick to it you can both have the same goals it's a lot easier. And then you guys come up with better ideas of going out for dinner and stuff like that. Hey, let's go to a place where I can get better quality food that's not, not as high in saturated fats and all that sort of stuff. So get the hubby on board, get the missus on board, and you'll get a lot better results with your weight loss. The other thing too, guys, with weight loss is find a good gym, find a good training environment, all right? I mean, this is the biggest thing I've tried to create here at HRV Fitness is I'm trying to create an environment where everyone feels comfortable, you can just come in, Everyone chats to each other, everyone's really relaxed. There's no dickheads there sort of eyeballing you every time you wanna use a squat rack or whatever it is. Find a good environment to train at and you'll get a lot better results too because you'll feel like going to the gym. You feel like coming to the gym and hanging out and chatting to Jono and Maka and Steve-O. You know, <laughs> a friendly environment to train it is so good. And having good training partners around you as well that are interested in your results. So find a good environment to train at. If you're in Geelong, hey, I know a place, it's pretty cool, you should come see us. But if you're not in Geelong, have a fish around, yeah? And don't just settle on the cheapest gym. Yeah, there's a lot of gyms out there and there's a lot of cheap gyms out there, but they're cheap for a reason because they're shit, all right? So don't settle on the cheapest gym. Try and find a gym with a really good fit, uh, good environment, good training environment, and really good work ethic, okay? So people that are willing to put in some time and effort into their training and looking after themselves, and then you'll feel more inclined to do that as well with your training. All right, guys, thank you. That's it. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, really appreciate you guys all sharing and liking all my stuff. Okay, so make sure that you subscribe. It's right there, bam. And then check out last week's video on uh, best workouts for over 30s. I will keep pumping out this free content, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you all next week. If you have any more questions or you're after any more information, please contact me at HIV Fitness and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next week.